Hello there, this is the Simon Expert and today let's solve this task. We have a box of a certain mass that is on a rough surface. The box is pushed and moves with initial speed 2 meters per second horizontally. The coefficient of kinetic friction between the box and the surface is 0.1. What distance this box will travel until it stops? Well, first of all, let's apply the second law of Newton. F equals ma, where F is the net force applied to our box, m is the mass of the box and a is the acceleration of the box. In our case, the only force which acts horizontally on the box is the force of friction. So, force of friction equals mu k, coefficient of kinetic friction, times n, which is the normal force. And this gives us mu k times mg. So now we can rewrite our first formula as negative mu k times m times g equals ma. And the negative sign over here indicates that this force is applied to the opposite direction to the direction of the movement of the box. So from here we can cancel out m and derive a as negative mu k times g. And this is equal to negative uh, 0 0.1 times 9.8 and gives us negative 0 0.98 meters per second squared. So here's the acceleration of the box. All right, guys. So now as we found the acceleration of the box, we can use kinematic equation to find the distance it travels before it stops. So the kinematic equation looks like this. The final speed squared equals initial speed squared plus 2 times acceleration times the distance that the box travels before it stops. So in our case, final speed is 0 because the box stops. Then we have initial speed, which is given. We have acceleration. We already found it. So we just need to find the distance. From here, S equals V initial squared divided by negative 2A. And this gives us 2 squared over negative 2 times negative 0 0.98 and equals 2.04 meters. So this is the distance the box travels horizontally before it stops. That's it. Thanks for watching. See you next time.